What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Jumaya's World and right now we're going to be talking about the level up method that's really, you know, most people are utilizing it. Uh, shout out to all of you guys that are making these videos uh, very, very noticeable on YouTube because it actually just lays out what, you, you know, specifics of what you're supposed to be doing without making the actual mistake. You will see that we're at level 55 right now. As far as the competitive pass, it's set up perfectly for us to get our pack before the legends drop tomorrow to get another free pack. So you're going to want to sit back, relax and enjoy it. Go ahead and like the video. If you would like to see member only videos, become a member of the channel. We just dropped our first ebook and it's doing pretty well. Shout out to all of you guys that is making this a reality for me. I really appreciate it. So you can click the link in the description box, become a member, chat it up with us in the community and get better at Madden while understanding what not to do all at the same time. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into the live events. The number one thing that I want you guys to understand is I do not use Randy Moss. Okay, so this video is not about leveling up to get to 50 the way that we thought that Randy Moss would be good. He actually, you know, he gets to 94 speed on a theme team, all that stuff, but he's too light. And with the way that they have deep out KO right now, deep out zone KO, he's not going to catch the ball if you throw streaks. You got to be able to use a catch. And when I'm mossing dudes, the bigger, like Carmichael, those type of dudes, um, you know, Parham, those are the guys that have a better chance of coming down with the football. I just want to let you guys know that. All right. So just, you know, let's keep that clear and understanding. The level up is for you getting coins, for you getting these packs and for you to not have to spend as much money for each promo. That's what I promote. That's what I want you guys to be able to do. I was able to pull so many good cards out of this and turn it into all Madden players because of the cards that I got out of these packs. All right. So the major part about this, right? The daily tracker is obviously the biggest part about it. If you are just getting started, and that's why I'm doing this video now because I've been getting a lot of requests about an updated one. If you are just starting right now and you are nowhere getting, nowhere near getting these days to get all of this XP, just stop right now. Okay. If you want to buy the levels and catch up, you can, but if you're just a grinder, just stop right now and wait for season three, because this is, this is where you get a majority of a lot of the, the 180,000 XP is a lot. And if you're not able to be able to get some of that, you may not be able to even get close to level 55, but with the week one through six, these are really, really good because it tells you specifically what you have to have, the unstoppable players, most feared players, team of the week players. Just pay attention to the top one, uh, three legend players, all Matt, three all Madden players, uh, and then this one was three AKA players. This is 40,000 extra XP a week. So if you're looking to get a specific thing, right? Let's say for instance, you want this, which I believe is the most important part of this entire uh, situation right now is for you to get the bonus XP because that's gonna go ahead and give you a head start in season three. That right there, if you're close to getting that, then you know, you're good to go. I'm gonna show you the rest of the things you need to do. Hopefully you can get that done. I want you to save as much as possible, but I also want you to be able to get a head start. All right, so if you're close to that level, I would say finish it out. Whatever you gotta do to finish it out, just finish it out because it's gonna help you out in the long run. Anything else, if you're way back in the beginning, you can you know, pretty much try to get the Micah Parsons and stuff like that, but everything else doesn't really matter. But I'm showing you guys the biggest part about it. And like I said, the, these weekly um, objectives are very big, but the daily tracker, if you're not getting a lot of those days, it's really gonna be bad if you're trying to do it. All right, so you, you wanna be a little bit patient with it. Now, there aren't a lot of other things available for you right now because the season is winding down. There's four days left to the season. Okay, with all Madden, this is your last chance to get bonus XP. Your literal last chance to get bonus XP. You do not have another way of doing this. So, if, like I said, if you're very close to maxing it out, the number one method right now is to attack all Madden. These objectives are very, very simplistic for a lot of XP. All right, you are gonna have to put in some time. Like this one is really stupid, bro. Like completing 200 passes, but again, you got four days to do it. So you break it up into 50 a day and look, listen, man, you gotta get it done. Like I said, I have people that tell me, yo, gee, I got a family, I got this. I got a family too. I got things I gotta do too. But again, you have to know how to partition the time and get certain things done. Because I have a lot of viewers here that have a lot busier schedules than you would think and they still get these things done. So you, the EA does give you the option, like I said, to buy it and get up to that level. But again, if you just wanna get that collectible, I would focus in number one on all Madden. Now for me, you can see I'm almost maxed, I'm almost maxed out. All right, like I'm almost done. Once I get to this one right here, 
with the 91 overall B and D pack, I'm just gonna leave it in the pack and then just wait to see if there's something that I really want, then open it and get to choose from one of three. You know what I'm saying? Like, every, like I said, that method actually works. When you get a pack, do not open any fantasy packs ever. Just let it sit there. And then as it goes by week to week, whenever they drop new content and is verified that it's in the game, you have a chance of getting those new cards. Which is why I'm telling you this now, because with the competitive pass, you also have options of getting more XP. Okay, so right now, this is what you need to be doing. The objectives are all there, the challenges are there, the sets are there, and everything is going to amount to what you need to get all that stuff done. All right, to get all the rewards and get the extra additional XP that's gonna be needed to get to 53. You do not need to get to 55, okay? 53 is the only thing you need right now so that all of us that are in this video right now, when, when season three launches, we are golden. That's what the goal is right now. There is nothing else going on, all right? Now, with the competitive pass, they also have a ton of stuff going on and everything has been reset. All right, so you have the opportunity now to go ahead and max it out and uh, get everything else done. No, EA Sports is not giving any of us our million coins for going 25 and 0. They don't care about it. But still, all in all, right, all the XP and everything that's here, this can also help you to get where you need to go. Now, remember, you can buy levels if you would like. A ton of my viewers told me that they bought levels and they don't care because they don't have the time, but they got everything that we're going to need to start the new season off. That's their decision. If you are very, very close, you can still do the same thing. But you have four days left uh, for the regular season pass before season three, obviously, um, you know, launches. And then now you don't get the bonus uh, XP to start. You can grind as much as you want. But as everybody knows, you see how people be having these cards really, really fast and it doesn't matter. They have head starts on everything. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how they're doing it. I don't know what's going on, but a lot of what happens is when you get that card, sometimes it glitches out and you can actually get more than 20,000. And that's what I want for you guys. I want you guys to get more than 20,000, which is why I'm letting you guys know what I am doing. And then that way we, you know, we can work it together to get everything done. But objectively, we're gonna unlock this today. Okay, and besides all the other level ups, we're gonna have this. If EA drops, an ultimate, a 91 overall champion that we like here at GMI's World, we will be opening this up this Saturday. No problem. We're opening this up. Okay? And not only are you leveling up now, but you're actually making coins all at the same time. So these are very, very important parts. Obviously, the Mutt Champs, again, really briefly, do the Mutt Champs first. For those of you guys like myself that was still not able to get into solo battles for the whole damn week, let me know as well. I tweeted EA, well, posted to them. I, I, I added them. They, they didn't do anything about it. Some people got their solo battles back. Some people didn't. Mutt Champs is the biggest thing here. Other than the milestones, Mutt Champs is going to give you the biggest deal. Get the Mutt Champs done, get that collectible, and that's all we have left that's inside here other than All Madden. Everything else has been removed. There's four days left, all right, to get this done. Let me know where you are, what's your Mutt level, and what you're planning on doing to get ready for Season 3. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. You have an unbelievable day. One love, y'all.